All right, welcome back to the final episode of Solitude Sessions, yeah? Big up Evans, Sengi, 90s, Agony, yeah? And now, the man himself, Jams, Big Jams, the one and only, what are you telling them, my guy? Come on, family. Come on. All my life. Come on. Come on. So, you've been a busy guy, right? <laughs> so... Do you want to tell him what was the motivation, yeah? Because I'm, I'm throwing a blueprint out the window today because I want to know, yeah, you've been doing it for, what, 28 weeks now? Yeah, yeah, You've yeah. been releasing a single a week for 28 weeks, yeah? yeah? What was the motivation behind that move? Because that's a bold move. So, do you know what it is, yeah? Obviously, I did the whole study abroad thing, went Boston and all of them ones, yeah? And then during that time, yeah, I just felt like the only angle people could come at me in terms of not giving me the opportunities that I was like seeing other people get before me and stuff. Not necessarily that was a bad thing because they deserved it as well. Do you get me? But like, yeah, yeah. it just made me feel away. And I thought the only angle someone could come at me is like, oh, consistency or like the work rate and all of them ones. So for me, I've always felt like I've been active. I've always actively been creating music. I just, before I had, I wasn't actively putting it out as much as I, I thought I was in my head. Do you know what I'm saying? So yeah. then, I wanted to just kind of switch it up, but that I thought if I go through that process of just banging them every single week, yeah, I eliminate another factor where someone could try and fault me, do you get me? And it was just ironing it out, man, and then just whatever, whatever, man, there was just set conversations that, like, I have ears everywhere and whatnot in it, yeah, where, I don't know, man, you know me, bro, I'm a, I'm a calm yeah. guy, Someone's calm with me, yeah. if I'm an issue with someone, I'd just say it to them and... The talk yeah, at the yeah. time was all like, Jams is good, but oh, I don't know if he's consistent enough to see if he's good enough. And I was insulted by that because I thought, yo, I was... The people that were in that conversations, to me, I thought, yo, having that conversation about me is just... I, saw, I took it as disrespect, but not as a deep thing. I just thought, yo, I was doing this before a, a lot of you, like, bare people in the city even knew any of you was, you get me? Nah, nah, nah. See, see, I completely get that yeah, because... because what you were doing, what you, were doing you, you were releasing quality music yeah but yeah. the thing was was there was an argument that you weren't putting out enough which i understand but at the same time there's a thing of like quality control people don't want you to put out music people want you to put out music until you put out music and it's not up to their standards so then they've got another thing to fault you at so it's exactly. a thing of the constantly bickering it's always people yeah that shouldn't really be voicing their opinion that like to voice their opinion yeah, man. Some people don't have constructive conversations, whereas these man, it's always like, yo, you know Jamsy, yeah, Jamsy's good at that, but Jamsy don't do this, or Mantra's yeah. good, but they don't do this. It's like you have not like haven't earned the right to start commenting on someone else's work when you put in niche. That exactly, man. That exactly from exactly. Like that yeah, for me, yeah. That, Go on. that was just added like a lot of coal to the to the fire, really. And I, I had a sick mm. like I did, obviously, I smashed Boston in it, man. Did bits with my uni thing, and then I did like the whole, did the show and that. And then over there, because I was getting a lot of momentum from there, and I felt a different type of love and energy. When I came back, bro, like, even even when we did the first thing that we did in the coffee shop, yeah, it was a yeah, lot of fresh from it. Then and I just kind of felt like, yo, what is this? What man in the city or like people in the city that are like, you know, organizing these local meetings, chatting about me from what me, yeah? yeah. You just thought, is it? And then for me, bro, I just thought like, right, I've, I don't chat shit in it. I don't chat shit. Mm. Bro. Even one for the long talk, I thought, right, bun it, man. Like you, man, might be doing your thing now, and you got the buzz now. But I know for a fact I can single-handedly outwork you all in it. <laughs> not to make it like, not to make it like one of them things. But when you back like, when you back a dog like me into the corner, fam, I'm gonna bark and I'm gonna bite in it because I'm not someone yeah, man. playing this music thing. Just trying and you can't, bro, like you can't deny it from the moment. 2020 started, you came out and barked and bit, bro. You came out and you went, Do you know, Smith? I got all this music and I knew you had all this music because you told me. Yeah. And when you started releasing it, I was like, It jokes made sense because it's like each song is either shown a different side here or it's amplified the sides we've already seen. So it's like, either I'm good at rapping now, you know, I'm even better, or yeah. I can do melodies. I've got the hooks on lock now. And I can put it out at a consistent rate that no one else is even close to getting to. And I just thought, if I'm ending this series, yeah, yeah, yeah. because I've enjoyed this series a lot because I got to know a lot of artists very well. Mm -hmm. 
I have to end it with you because you're the person to me. Like, if you, we're talking WWE, yeah? Yeah, yeah. You've hit the number one contender. You've gone and slammed the title. You've gone, let me you in the fight. Like that. Oh, you've God. slapped up Randy Orton, the Sting, and you've gone there and you've done it now. And oh. you've shown to me as a music fan and a person that, like, dissects the lead scene because of how part it is to me. You've yeah. shown to me you're at the top of that. And you've shown you've done that in the right way. You've not done it by, like, trying to buy everyone off. You've done it by solely just focusing on your craft and handing it out to everyone. Yeah. But, uh, insane, right? Yeah, fully, man. Thank you, bro. Like, that's what I, that was my aim in it, man. Like, even because, like you said, buying everyone off and that, like, I could have gone about it a different way in it. Like, when I mm. obviously when I heard initial things or whatever, you got to remember as well. A lot of people chat in this music thing, innit? A lot of mm. people just chat it and. When there's a lot of emotions involved, a lot of people just say things in the moment out of emotion. They hate it themselves. Yeah. So it was one of them ones where I kind of like, do you know what it is? Yeah? If, I, if I try to come back from Boston and I try to just come on some Aggie thing and, oh, I'm doing a single a week because all of you, man, it's not going to work. So I thought, do you know what? Mm. As well, if, I, if I started with that mentality, I'll probably be sick of it by the 14th. Yeah. I took it with the mentality of, oh, right, do you know what, yeah? This is what they think from what they've seen, yeah. I have to remember that because I see every process of everything I do in it. Yeah. Like, this is what they've been. This is what they've taken away from what they've they've the information they've gathered from what they've seen on me. This is what they've got, yeah. So let yeah. me just do this. Start putting out all, all this music single a week and just eliminate another reason of what they've got to say against me in it. And then yeah. like. I weighed it up. I was like, the next thing they can say is like, all right, actively doing shows. All right, calm. I'm doing like, I did the commissions thing with Northern Ballet in it. I got, um, that's been winning awards as well, man. So that was something recent that happened. Wow, and then like, with shows and that, because of the pandemic, it's not been as much as a big thing, but I know that that's another fault with me in terms of like, I need to be actively doing more shows. But then at the same time, it's getting into them positions and you get me? Being, being yeah. put forward as an artist now because I'm, um, there's no doubt, bro. Like I've, like ninety percent of Leeds music scene is myself. This yeah. year alone, in it, do you get me? This year alone, like and you've put out, like big tracks from Leeds. Mm. You put out the predominantly large amount. There's a couple of tracks that come to mind, like '90s Freaky Team with Crap. Yeah, yeah, fully, but, like, man. The no, lot man. of it is you, in it, bro. Fully, fam. Like that's what I'm saying. Like, and that's for me, bro. I just wanted to make it a thing of like, yo. I'm not here to argue, bicker, and just chat shit, man. It's like, yo, I'm the guy that... Proofs in the pudding. Fully in it. Like, I'd rather yes, just... Man. Like, I'd rather work, fam. I'm not here to do that, fam. If you... I'm not here, like... I'm not here for clout wars and that, bro. I don't mm. win clout wars, innit? But I can outwork nah. and... I'm a hard that, that's the right... You know what you are? Football terms, you like that CDM. You can oh, run up and down a pitch all day. You can play every, like, ball you want. You can get the ball back, possession, calm. But you're not going to be doing all the chatting and... You're not going to be getting on the back of the newspapers. You're just going to be showing them. Here's the work. Give me my flowers. I've earned that. Give it. I Give deserve it. that appraise. And even then, like, it's not even on a thing where I'm like, yo, yeah, I put this song out. You all better share with me. So, even when I was approaching it, I thought, yo, even the first post I did, yeah, when the first one I released was Miss Me. And I put, yo, I've been, I've been, I've released a lot this year in that company back in Britain now excited to showcase these songs that I've got like I'm gonna put out a single a week and I, I wrote um I don't even know like I don't even know if you'll fuck with half of them but as long as you fuck with one of them throughout this year I'm happy do you get me so like yeah. I've just done it as yo like I could be in single a week could not be going as good as it's going for me and I could just be tanking and just getting like 10 streams every week yeah but like yeah. I'd still, the type of person I am and like the reason why I do music and the, the reason why I put out to do single a week is it won't bother me, in it? Because the moment you start looking at your numbers and stuff like that, bro, then you, you're not doing it. You're trying, you're too influenced by everything else. So your music, yeah. core is like, the, the music stops sounding like you. Do you get me? Yeah, because it seems like you've only put out music that you fully like. Because you can tell when you're putting them out and you're discussing them on your story and stuff. It's like, you're not just mm. flinging out music because, right, I've got to hit this mm. weekly release. You're doing it as in the, every one of these songs I've enjoyed creating. And I've, I believe the end product deserves to be put out into the world and help someone, might not be everyone, but someone enjoy that music. Fully, And man. it's like, it's just been such an organic growth of watching you go from 
a few thousand streams, few hundred streams to 20,000 on one of your singles, tens of thousands, yeah, yeah. thousands. And it's like, it's just shown consistency is key. And you are literally a prime example of that because you had the quality. You yeah. had like, it was the cadence in your voice, the way you were able to flow on a song. Your instrumental choice was always there. And mm -hmm. the only thing, as you said, was your lack of consistency to some people. And you just dispelled any way people can discredit you. And now I believe the only way for you is going to be up. And I'm seeing you're doing all of this without the backing of these London channels, which is something I always advocate for Leeds artists. And I can just see you going on. And like, you've got something in the works, but I know you can't tell me. <laughs> but whatever I, that is, that is going to be. All, you know what? Yeah, all I can say is on like what's in the works right now is, is yeah, is big up. Big up Grayston and big up Young BT, yeah. Um, I just had all. All I'ma say is I had some really good meetings and that. Do you get me, bro? I had some good meetings, like yeah. I that simply because, yeah, like I don't really know. It's with me, bro. I'm the type of person where I'll celebrate when I look around and everything is how it's where I'm trying to take it. Do you get me? So it's, yeah, bro, nothing's changed. Let's just say positive moves. Yeah, that man, could yeah. lead to. Some and when they do, yeah, you heard about it here first. Mantra, I already told you that. So we're there. Man. There you just go. Of, man, just, just trying to, for me, bro, all I'm trying to do is maintain and just get with more like-minded people and just do this thing. Proper, man. I want to take it to where I feel like it deserves it, it should be, in it. Yeah. Where I'm, I'm, that's the whole reason why I've always wanted to do music and not, man. Like, bro, you can tell, like, fam, I'm doing this interview. I ain't got a trim. I've got a little bit. I've got glasses on I'm not asked yeah. about pretty boy singy singy song boy you like I'm just I'm <laughs> I love music I can deliver yeah. good products that people fall in love with initially from hearing and when they see the video man all of that stuff doesn't yeah. matter because if they love the products man they're already on you do you get yeah that's do, do the perfect way to look at it like the way I see it is like yo anyone that any new fans that will hear Ed Sheeran that don't know Ed Sheeran you think the girls listening to him going to the video and going oh nah it's ginger nah they're you already in love with the product. They've already got the product. The product. Oh, that's what I'm saying, what? man. Oh, no. Right, my dad's here. One second. Sorry. Yeah, yeah right. sensitive, man. Nah. So, when you had the music, yeah, is everything you've released being pre-recorded or have you recorded through lockdown and how has that process been different? So, I started the year, I ran into 2020 with about, I'd say, this is the thing, I'd say 25 songs I had there ready, but I haven't released all 25 of them songs. I'd say I've released maybe 15 or 17 of them. And then the other ones that I've put out have been other ones that from like a couple of years back. And then I've released some new ones through this year that I've written yeah. this year. But, um, yeah, bro, more time. It's only really recently you're getting the stuff. So, for example, the track I put out, I wrote Blur um, at the start of lockdown. I had a session at mine with Fletcher in it. And, um, yeah, yeah, big up Fletcher. Yeah, trust me, shout out Fletcher, man. We did Blur. I think that was back end of March, innit? Mm. So, that's, like, in terms of time scale, that should give you, like, a couple of... So, that's, like, March... What's after March, June, July? It's like two months in advance. So I guess when I'm writing records now, you'll hear them like two to three months after, innit? So I'm always yeah. a bit Like even now, like I've got a catalogue of, I've got like a list of weekly records or potential weekly records. And then I've got like features that I've had that I, that were going to be as weekly records, but I'm going to put together a project after I've done this year. Do you get me? Yeah, yeah. You said, I, I, I noticed what you were saying with the collaborative project. Yeah. 100%. So can you give me because obviously I like exclusives over here. Three yeah. of the collabs you're going to put out that you definitively know. Oh, mate, yeah, I can give you, I can probably give you one than that, I won't even lie. Go I'm on, then, a, I'm up for it. Got a track with Potter, yeah. I've got a track with P Soldier. I've got a track with D5. I've got um, um, a track with B, Young BT. Um, I've got a tune, yeah. I've sent to 90s, yeah. So 90s, when you watch this one, bro, pattern that verse, man. And I, I know that tune's a big tune, from. I know it's a big tune. And I wrote it, yeah. And the moment I wrote it, I could have done a second verse, but, like, it was when 90s came fresh out and I thought, yo, 
this is just a perfect fit for like the artist in it. So I wrote that tune, mm. like set all of these features I've had in mind, I've written with the artist in mind, like the, the track I've got with D5, yeah. I remember I wrote it, I did the hook and I remember I was in studio with Fletcher and I was like, fam, yeah. And when I, when I first wrote this track here yeah, and I found a beat and I just heard D5's vocal on it after doing like singing my hook with me in it. And then boom, we just got patterned. So like, that's like five there, innit? I said four of them are probably done, man. Right. But yeah, man. So is that your process then? When you write like a single, do you write every collab with that specific person in mind? So it's like if you, so say if that person's not on it, do you just scrap that whole song or do you have to re go through the whole track and try to change elements? With me, it's more so say if I'm just wanting to write a tune. So th there's a couple of ways it happens in it here. So say more time if I'm wanting to write a single, the track that I'm writing, I don't have a I don't have a collab in mind. It's just straight me in it. It's just straight through bam 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 bam. Um, when I did the track with D Five, yeah. When I was writing that, after I did the hook and just listening to the beat, compared to like the music he had out at the time as well, I thought, yo, I can hear his voice. I've got a good ear for it in it. Like I could hear his voice. Just I knew his voice and melodies that he thinks up with would just be fucking flames on the mm. rhythm. So, it was one of so you just got loads of, it, it's like a spider diagram. You've got the original idea, but then all these other points will come off and you'll be like, this would work, that would work, that could work. And you just make the best end product out of it. Pretty much. Pretty much, more or less, yeah, fam. And even with like, like for set, up, for set tracks, like I have had it in mind where, yo, I'm getting a feature on this. So like the track I've got with P Soldier, um, I've had that in the works for a while, innit? It's just because I recorded my verse, did the hook, and I wanted P on it for a while, but I was just, I, I like to listen back to my master's bear, innit? And I remember mm. I was listening through, just thinking how we could do the tune, and I sent it to him, and then, like, obviously, patterned the verse and that, and then it was there. But I wrote that in mind with, like, trying to match something me and P could blend on nicely, where it's not weird, because obviously, like, it's two, like, we're two different artists and two yeah. different people, do you get me? But when that product comes out, and it comes out well, that's yeah. when I think it shows your musical knowledge is up there because you can be a music artist and it's going to sound stupid, but you can be a music artist with minimal music knowledge because you might just know how to make a winning formula. But yeah. if you don't know how to blend styles and create successful collaborative like pieces yeah. and projects, it's a bit lack because it's like, yeah, we've got that service from, you know, it's like if you went to McDonald's every single day and yeah. just got a cheeseburger, you'd be yeah. like, the cheeseburger's doing what I'm wanting it to do, but I'm getting nothing else from it. And that's how some artists, I believe, are. they'll just give you that, but they'll just constantly provide, and it'll be an 8 out of 10 every time. Yeah. But they're never going to give you anything new. Yeah. And I feel like that's where, when you do release this collaborative project, yeah. because you give us stuff new on your own, but when you yeah. release like this collaborative project, you're going to be handing out 20 chicken nugget meals, you're going to be having Come on. Big Mac meals, you're going to be having a fish fillet, you're going to be having it all, and you're just going to provide it as like one cohesive piece of like, music and I feel like that's going to be a stamp of your quality and your presence within Leeds as you're going to be able to bring that many people together. Thank you bro like that's that's another reason why I wanted to do it as well because I just thought like I had it in mind when I did because I did the track with BT I did the track with D5 and then I finished the track and then I wanted 90s on yeah and then I do, I've done a tune with Fletcher as well, yeah. It's a big tune as well, fam. Done a tune with Fletcher as well. It's, it, I started thinking of it then, innit? Because I thought, realistically, yeah, I don't want to drop another EP. Like, right. I don't want to drop another EP. I don't really want to drop an album until I'm at the point where, like, I've got major backing and just more, like, like you said, further knowledge. Like, I'll big up as well for saying I've got the knowledge there, man. Because even at times, bro, like, with... The more, the higher I'm trying to take it, I still feel like I've just got average knowledge, man. I'm always trying to absorb new information from. But that's the right mentality. If you always want to move forward, it's like yeah. it's like anything. Like when every time I do an interview, every time mm -hmm. I do anything media related, I'll watch ten or twenty pieces of people I admire to get yeah. ideas and understand why they're in a the position they are and I'm not. And it yeah. seems that like you've got the exact same mindset when you look at the people you admire because you admire a lot of American stars like 50 cent g unit yeah, that yeah. type of genre and you can tell that you've studied that model of music and that way of releasing music and yeah. the way like your cadence your delivery the way mm. you flow the way like you find pockets that i don't find first time when i listen to an instrumental you just yeah. get them 
and you see it and like it's visible that it's so easy for you to do it but that's yeah. through graft fully 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 man bro that's just from studying mixtapes from from young and that man but then like yeah so with the, with the collaborative thing i wanted to do it as well just because obviously as i was saying the main drive not not the main drive the main drive for putting out more music was like to just eliminate any other factors someone could have to fault me as an artist in it but then as well i wanted to do it as a way to kind of i didn't want to put out an album or an ep i wanted to drop a mixtape so i thought right if i'm doing a mixtape yeah i'd rather do it where I just kind of cherry pick my favorite artists or artists that have dropped songs that I'm big fans of from the city and then just get yeah. them on projects of my own. Because I feel like I'll, I'll have a lot more momentum then, hopefully, if touch wood and everything, if everything keeps mm. going. I'll have a lot more momentum then, and that'll be a big project. I can do like a launch party and it'll be sick because then it will be a big part of the lead scene. Like, yeah. did you get me? And do I'll you think it's important for you to just use the lead scene for this project? Was there an idea in mind to do that to place yourself at the top of the tier or was it just organic? It's not even to be like, in, on, true say, bro, like the whole top of the tier thing, fam, the way I view it is this might, this, <laughs> back in editing, this might make me sound like a dickhead, yeah, but it is what it is. I don't see myself involved with like, I don't compare myself to these other artists because to me, bro, I'm not in the same lane as that. And the, the reason why is because like, no disrespect, but like you could name your top five or even ten artists that are from the same like whatever suburb or not suburb fucking area or whatever. And no disrespect to them because a lot of them I rate and I'm fans of as well. But like the, my catalogue's longer than them all combined, isn't it? <laughs> Not like, not in, not in it now, but this is the thing. I didn't want it, it sounds dope. <laughs> I didn't want it to come across like that. Not in a dickhead way, just in the sense of like, I don't, I, you can't, to me, you can't compare a race horse to like just a standard stable horse. You can't chat to me until you dis, like, till your catalogs as long as mine. It's not even, not a level even of like music. Not even like you can't chat to me because I've like, I respect a lot of these other artists and they've, you know, like the creditable artists from the sick music and that to me, it's just like, for where I'm trying to take it and for where I'm trying to go, it's not about like being at the top tier of Man In My City and that to me, it's like, do you know what, yeah? Because bro, realistically, like, I could say that all day till my face turns blue, but like, for a lot of people, I'm not. But like, it doesn't make sense that I'm not now, do you get me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, for a lot of people, I'm not, but to me, it's like, all right, I know that I am within myself where I want to be like just in my own league I'm in a league of my own innit? Mm. that's why I'm just going and doing my thing so you've like, got the bigger plan I've got I've, I just see the bigger I feel, my, I just feel like I see the bigger picture in it no no pun intended mm. <laughs> <laughs> see no I completely understand that it's a thing of you don't want to be the top person in your city you want to be a worldwide nationwide respected artist that's your end goal is just I want everyone to know my levels, not just Leeds, not just Yorkshire. Literally. Like, I don't need to be that. I get that. I want to be think of why Khaled and all of these, man. Do you get me? If I'm like, I'm yeah. trying to. I don't. I don't know, man. With me, I grew. I grew out of the whole mentality of, oh, I want to be best in the city. Because the way I view it is like, yo, all right. When you get rap fans that actually analyze you, they'll be able to tell from like the way you piece together lyrics and what not on your resume like you were saying you can tell like there's pockets in the beats i find that people don't necessarily see straight away and that's just come from years of practicing writing and that for mm. me it's more so just like yo i'm trying to fucking break through that door in it right now i feel like i've just got a little eyelash around and i'm just peeking in i'm trying to fucking you're just having a little out. sneaky little deep there yeah, and you're just like yeah, i can see it right fucking, out there yeah. do you get me and like with mm. the whole best of whatever thing man all of that will come like to me i any rapper yeah bro message to any rapper yeah like for you to to really take yourself seriously as a rapper you have to believe you are the best rapper out there but you've got to be honest with yourself as well so even mm. if you're at a point with your craft where you don't feel like your lyrics are the best yeah be honest because you don't want to be a delusional rapper in it yeah? yeah so for me bro i feel like there there isn't a spit of if the question is that in it there isn't a spit of from the city that I feel like can touch me in terms of what I do and the music that I make. Do you get me? Yeah. But that's how I'm supposed to feel, and mm, that's definitely. I, if you I'm, don't feel like that as an artist, like I like I say it all the time, I say it to like Mickey and that, and we're chatting. I'm like, where the bollocks? And that's the mindset I have. Like you've got to keep it like that. You get me. You get me. But what I want to talk to you about, right? 
yeah. This hook you ripped, yeah. You said it on Twitter. You went, "I ripped the best hook of my life," and I saw it on Insta. Whoa, which hook though? Which hook are you on about? That one, you had the white coat on. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. I when that song is finished, right? Before you send it out anywhere. I'll send it. Just send me it. Just send me it because that song. I heard the hook and I went, let me click back. I listened to it again. Mm. I'm not popping my head. I'm not, let okay. me click back. Okay. I listened to it again. Come on. And I'm like, wait a minute. Let me just go back again. And I heard it and I'm like, this guy. Is he lacing his lyrics with crack? What's going on? Oh, I'm like, this is this the is levels. One. I'm telling you, that one right there. Yeah. I want that right now. If you, bro, yeah, I want I'm, that I'm, single I'm, right now. I'm trying to get in studio in like a couple of days to lay that one down, man. But yeah, fam, I wrote that like, you know, I heard the beat, and the beat was a flip on that big, big pun song. Um, I'm not a player, I just crush a lot from yeah. like back in the day, thousands like <coughs> or so, something like that, like mm. 1998 or some shit, man. Um, yeah, the beat was a flip on that. I've heard people use that beat there and I've always wanted to spit over it, but I was just waiting for like the right moment. And I heard the beat and I was singing the original and then I thought, wait, this beat's a switch up, man. And then I just started humming the little melody and then I ain't even, to say, I haven't even written the hook. I've only written the little, you can't keep calling on me. I can't keep calling on you. I've only written that little bit in it. So then yeah, like, man. I posted a little preview and I, it got a lot of good responses and then fam, yeah, that night I've just been sat singing the singing the thing, just beating the verse up, man. Just, it was that it's impressive, up. man. When I did it, fam, I, I had to tweet it, man. Say, shout out um, Sengi, yeah? Shout out Sengi, man. He quote tweeted it and he goes, yo, you know it's a banger when you have to tweet it. <laughs> like, big up Sengi every time. Yeah, but man. no, like, what I want to say before we lock this off, because yeah, like, we can't give him too much knowledge, too many gems. But yeah. I want you to tell him one TV series, one film, and one book during lockdown help, has helped you through this whole, like, 100 and however many days now. Okay. Um, boom. Yo, Money High. Wait, did Money High Season 4 drop during lockdown? I can't even no, remember. No, if you've watched it during lockdown, that's cool. I watched Game of Thrones, bro, and that stuff was out time ago. So, yo, I, all right, I'm going to say Money High Season 4, or if not Money High Season 4, the new Rick and Morty series, isn't it? Because, like, big man thing. <laughs> that's funny, like, levels. Yeah, Money, yeah I'd say Money High is the, like, whatever the new season is, yeah? Um, what was the next thing? Uh, a book? Book and a, t uh, and a film. So, yeah, Money Heist is a series, isn't it? Or does yeah, yeah, so book, film... And oh. series. All right, okay, so, yeah, so Money Heist, and then I'd say for a film, um, fam, what did I watch now, man? I watched some next horror thing. It was called um, Her Her Hereditary or something. Oh, I heard about that. That looks a bit booky, yeah, that one. It was a bit mad still. I, I won't really say it helped me get, I mean, it did help in a sense. It killed time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I just watch better horrors when, when it's locked down from you get me them ones. Oh, yo, I'm mad, you know. Yo, I'm not even gonna lie, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it like I was gonna keep this on a secret, but I'm gonna run it. Yeah, mm. I've been watching a bag of rom coms, and I'm not even gonna lie, yeah, I've been all up in my feelings. Yo, shout, out, shout out Ronnie Cheng, man. He's shout out Ronnie Cheng, man, innit? He was in a, he was in a rom com, man. I did a headliner with him in Boston, man. That was mad, sick. yeah. Um, what else? A book. I haven't read the book yet, but my brother bought me 50 cents, like, new book that he put. I think it's Hustle Harder, Smarter, and yeah. that, innit? But, like, yeah. yeah. I need to get on reading that. That's just been sat there on my bed for, like, two weeks now. Um, but, bro, I want you to tell him. I've got two things you need to tell him. Where they can find you and what they should be looking out for. So, you Run it. Boom. So, social media, Snapchat, Jamzy underscore 98. Twitter, Jamzy underscore underscore underscore. That's three underscores. Instagram, same again, Jamzy underscore underscore underscore. Um, Spotify, Jamzy, all Apple Music and whatever. Just search Jamzy and you'll see, like, the bag of songs there. Do you get me? And what you should look out for is getting at me on my socials, yeah? Because I have got a new single dropping every single fucking week, yeah, throughout 2020. And we're just gaining a lot of momentum, man. Everything's going great. I've got some visuals dropping. 
And just, yeah, man, if you really want to see more about me and what I do, just add up the socials, like I said, in it, because I post a lot on my Snap and on my Insta. And yeah, like, man, right. This it. was the perfect, perfect, perfect way to close off Solitude Sessions. I want to thank everyone, Sengi, Evans, 90s, Agony, my guy, Jamzy, everyone for, like, coming down, talking to us, providing information for the fans, the viewers, the listeners, whoever, yeah. It's been a great series that's got your mum through lockdown, your sister through lockdown, because you've been messaging me, it's all mad. So I just want to say thank you for locking in. I want to say, Jams, you already know what it is. Yeah? Come on, family. Come on, family. Thank Love you. my guy. <laughs>